Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We've got the best icon upgrade SBC pack of the year, most likely dropping today on this game. And it's guaranteed to shake up the market at least a little bit, along with potentially bring us some profit on some of these investments that we have bought in the last couple of days. I want to talk about that SBC a lot today and also what we're expecting for content, more FC Pro Live players coming into packs today. There's so much to discuss along with yesterday's content as well. If you're in for it, drop a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you're new. Let's start with yesterday's content because we did have a couple of player SBCs that are moving some things. One's okay and one's actually pretty decent. This is the one that's okay. The Renan Lodi FC Pro Live left back, Brazilian left back in the League One, W links, high, high work rates, four skills, three weak foot, left footed, of course, on the left side. It's what you want. And a really good pro, Umut, a very, very good pro that could get this card upgrades for sure in the coming months as, you know, points earned, get the inform upgrades as we are learning with these FC Pro Live cards. It is all about... The pro that is going to represent them. The price in this SBC, according to Footbin, is around 80,000 coins. It's not bad. I don't love it, but it's not bad. It's really good that he's got a good pro kind of linked up to this card. But I think, man, I look at my even favorite SBCs right here. I'm halfway through Bacha. I compare Bacha to Renan Lodi. I know that she's not League One, but she is French. Um, and I just think that that left back card to me looks so much better than Ren and Lodi. It's the, tr it's the passing, it's the dribbling, it's the play style plus, and people just say that Bacha is so OP in game. So I think I'm going to stick with Bacha here as a left back and not go after Lodi. But if you're really interested in Lodi, he does have upside because of the pro that represents him. We got an SBC as well yesterday. Another one of those, a part of the puzzle objective. Make sure you get it done. It is the Obrin objective. That was dropped for a small pack, nothing too crazy. And then, of course, we had the Schmeichel Goalkeeper Icon SBC, which was expected to drop, and it did. Now, this SBC actually has a very, very high percentage of upvote, guys. 85% upvote on Peter Schmeichel, 250,000 coins to craft. The highest rated squad inside of it is an 87 rated. You've got an 85 rated in there, and then an 83, and then it's just gold, silver, and bronze to finish it off. So it seems very easy. You get tradable packs back, I believe. Um, yeah, tradable backs, packs back. It's a good goalkeeper card. Like, this is an icon goalkeeper, and I think a lot of the reason why there's a lot of hype around Schmeichel is this is an SBC that you can do, that you can put it in your team, and you can honestly forget about it for, like, the rest of at least the next couple of months in this game. That is the draw to this card. Now, his card on the market's dropped off a ton. He's 200,000 coins, maybe even a little bit below that. After this SBC came out, it's because a lot of people are doing it. Goalkeepers as well. I look at Ter Stegen, Inform is down a lot. He was 80,000 coins. I believe he's 70,000 coins now after the release uh, of the SBC. I'm looking at other icon goalkeepers like Casillas dropped 100,000 coins yesterday. This Schmeichel SBC is one that is garnering a lot of hype because it's pretty easy to do. And it's a really good goalkeeper card. As you guys maybe know, like it actually in this year's game, I feel like makes a big difference to have a competent goalkeeper. Like I remember in the beginning of the game using an 80 or 78 rated goalkeeper. And once I got Ederson and packed him, I was like, wow, night and day difference. And I think this is going to allow people to level up their goalkeeper. And that's why there is so much hype for that SBC. So in my opinion, though, I think I would maybe wait. It, I would just maybe wait on that Schmeichel because we have had a goalkeeper Evo that is leaked. There's no news on that. Um, but, you know, that's such an easy SBC to do. Maybe wait and see how your team shakes up and shakes out as we go through Black Friday. And then maybe considering consider doing that SBC if it still fits your club. That's just my take. Goalkeeper SBCs, I don't know. I don't end up doing a lot of them just because I usually end up using somebody who I've packed or maybe done through an SBC or an evolution, but it is completely up to you on that one. Now we got to go to evolutions and talk about this. This is the leaked evolution that we had a couple of days ago during the week. We talked about a right wing evolution with a pace maximum of 91 and we got that evolution yesterday. At least it's pretty easy to do. The upgrade is decent. Uh, I think you get, what is it? Plus four dribbling plus three uh, passing. Wait, there's, there's actually a bigger dribbling upgrade than just four. You get two different dribbling upgrades, plus four and then plus three. So plus seven dribbling on the final card, plus five shooting, plus uh, seven passing as well as even a further pace upgrade. A lot of the most popular cards for this did go up in value. Ooh, I've even got Guler and Baku in the club who are some pretty popular Evo cards from this. 
It's only seven games, I think, if I did the math correctly. Play five Rivals matches. Oh, it's nine games. Play five Rivals matches and then win four Rivals or Champs. I mean, technically, you can combine some of these level two challenges to get it done in nine games. It's not a bad Evo, but I think people are starting to get a little bit, I don't know, maybe just disappointed by how these evolutions have been panning out. I even tweeted this out yesterday. This is called the Relentless Winger um, evolution. We've already had a Relentless Winger. And it was a left-sided player. It was a paid evolution. And, you know, this being also called Relentless Winger, I thought, hey, what if we had the opportunity to upgrade the already evo Relentless Winger evolution cards to a higher level? That's kind of what I was hoping for. But alas, it is not. That is a completely new evolution for, again, very low-rated cards. And I think that's where the disappointment lies in some of these evos is you're not able to put in some of those middle to high tier players like we got a taste of during Centurions, right? When we were putting in Marcus Rente and Crystal Dunn and Chaomeni into the Evolutions box to box. But then again, instead of playing 40 games, here we are only having to play nine to get some of these upgrades. So definitely, if you take a look at the market, you can see Doku is very popular. His inform is down because people are doing the evolution. Um, I think Maldueke is very popular as well. He's a card that's still up a little bit in value, but once again, it is. Ha it has to be said, guys. Sell into the hype. This guy was 7k yesterday, 7,000 coins, and he's 1,500 now because it was a leaked evolution. Sell into the hype. 10 times out of 10 on any of these evolutions that do end up being leaked. Now, really quickly before we get into today's content and everything today, we got to look at these FC Pro Live cards because we mentioned in yesterday's video that the Saturday flips could be money. And they were. Of course, we have to talk about Karamoa. I did not expect this card to go up as much as he did. Remember Felipe Anderson from Centurions? It was almost one of those scenarios once again. It basically was one of those scenarios. He went from 50,000 coins. I actually bought three of them to, to list overnight. I thought he was going to go up 10K or 15K, right? I bought him at 53. I sold him at 63 or 64,000 coins because I listed overnight. And he had a crazy rarity spike up to 120,000 coins. Now, there was probably a little bit of pump and dump that was happening as this card was rising. People saw it getting rare. And once these cards get super duper rare and they're pretty low in their price range, like stuff like this can happen. He has a lot of hype. As I tweeted out yesterday, he's almost the same stats as Kolomani, and he's 60k, and Kolomani is 800,000 coins. I think Kolomani's price is still ridiculous, still too expensive, but this card had a ton of hype, and it had a crazy rise yesterday. Now he's back down to about 60k, which is where he kind of his normal price is, but a lot of these other cards had good rises as well. Locatelli, I think, went from 70-something K, 83,000 coins to 102 K. So we had a 20,000 coin rise. Now he is 70 K right now. As uh, a lot of these players dropped off yesterday because we had lightning rounds again. Sadio Mane going from 780 all the way down to 530 where he is now. There were lightning rounds again yesterday. And I'm actually going to check this door right now because I'm recording this video a little bit early. And this is the exact time that they dropped him on Friday night. I want to see if they did it again. Uh, did they do it really quick? We had to look. I don't see any lightning rounds in here. Okay, they did not drop the lightning rounds again. So that was Friday night. They did the late night rounds. They did not do the late night rounds Saturday night into Sunday. So that is interesting to know. But those players were really good fluctuations. I think there are going to be decent fluctuations to trade with today as well in multiple different areas. I'm not buying any of them around squad battle rewards or anything like that. But definitely keep an eye on those because they're cheap. People want to try them out because it's different cards with decent upgrades. Now, enough of that. Let's talk about the icon pack because we've yapped enough. We're talking about an icon pack today. It's been in the code now for, I think, what, maybe a week? Actually, it's been in the code. I just did the math for nine days because today, 10 days. Today is the 19th, and this was tweeted out on the 9th of November. The base icon, Max89 single player pack, was added to the code at the same time as the base hero pack, and that pack is going away today. So we would expect you know, according to EA's normal schedule, that this would be our icon pack, right? The hero icon saga continues. One week hero, one week icon. This is what we think will be our pack today. And if you look at who's going to be packable from this, finally, an icon upgrade pack that you can get some big boys from. Eto, Jarzinho, Cantona, Franck Ribéry, Kaká, worth 2 million coins in my book. Edwin van der Sar. Um, even some players like Desai, I don't think he was available in the last one because he's 88 rated. Hugo Sanchez, Socrates, Philip Lam, they were all above 87, which was the last cap on the SBC. 
And of course, there still are a lot of icons in here that you won't want to pack, like Crespo, Sucare, Ian Rush. And this being a Max 89 includes some of those cards that weren't packable before, like you couldn't pack Zanetti or Schweinsteiger, and they're pretty cheap icons as well, or Owen, or Nesta, or Nedved. So it opens up the icon player pool a ton. Now, how much is this SBC going to cost? The one icon SBC that we had last year, the first one, was the base icon upgrade. It was 230,000 coins. But this year, SBCs have been a little bit cheaper, right? Hero packs have been cheap, like one squad or two cheap squads. Even the icon packs this year, 115K and then 156K, just because fodder had risen by the time we got the second Max 87. If I had to guess, guys, I think this SBC is going to come in around the 200,000 coin price range today. And if we're thinking about how can you get to a 200,000 coin price, I was actually just looking at the Schmeichel SBC. The Schmeichel SBC has an 87 rated squad for 150k and an 85 rated squad for 63,000 coins. I think it's very possible it could be an 83 and an 85, or sorry, an 85 and an 87 rated squad today for this icon SBC or somewhere around there. Now, would we need to invest in fodder? Well, a lot of us already have. I do believe fodder can rise today, guys, because icon packs bring so much hype. But what ratings would you want to focus on? If there's going to be an 87 rated squad, 87s could go up, but I think 88s would go up even more. I think 88s, I'm glad that I stocked a bunch on my club and on my transfer list because if we get an 87 rated squad, guys, these cards could be going up the most today because if you take a look at some of the cheapest ways to do an 87 rated squad, it includes 88s. I also think 84s have a good chance of going up if there's an 85 rated squad, an 86 rated squad, even an 87 or an 88. Like, let me show you the 87 rated squad here of Casper Schmeichel. The easiest way to do this is to use multiple 88 rated players, one 87, and then a couple 84s. Like that's, according to Flippin, the cheapest way to do an 87 rated squad. So I know I'm really like going hard on the 87 rated. Like it might not be an 87 rated squad today, but anywhere between the 84 and the 87 and 88 rated card mark, I think could rise today on this game. And honestly, a lot of you guys may have already invested in those. So if you have those cards and they go up today, Maybe it's a day that you sell, but also at the same time, what we've been investing for all along is a potential rise in the prices of these fodder cards over Black Friday. So if you don't want to sell today and you want to keep holding on, you could continue to do that as well. Just kind of depends on what you're going for. This is the first SBC I'm expecting to make fodder start to rise into Black Friday and ultimately continue to rise, maybe even as we get into Black Friday as well and throughout that whole time frame. We have to talk about informs as well. Informs are down bad. They, are, they were 21, 22,000 coins. Right now they're sitting at about 23K. If we get an inform requirement in the Icon SBC today, I could see informs rising. I would focus on 84 rated informs if you can, especially the 84 rated informs if they're around 21 to 22K that are not in the current team of the week. Those would be my favorites. Uh, if you were going to buy anything in an inform department and risk that a little bit, because those, um, I mean, Zinchenko's in packs, so that's one I'd be very careful with. But any 84 rated informs at 22K or maybe 23K if it's an out of packs inform could rise if there is a requirement, but a little bit more risky there just because those are still inflated. Now, also with an icon pack coming today, how's that going to impact the rest of the market? I definitely would expect to see, like we normally do on Sundays, when we get these icon and these hero packs, I would expect to see some prices dropping in packs cards, right? If it's a two segment SBC for the icon pack, you're probably going to see some prices drop from tradable supply of people opening those packs. Also, people selling cards to go and afford the SBC. And if it's a 200,000 coin SBC, people might have to sell a little bit more in order to go buy enough fodder to get it done. So I definitely would expect to see player prices, maybe even like Neymar, dropping. Neymar had a nice rebound yesterday from 130 all the way to 150. He might be in the 120 lows, 120, 125 today. I'm, that's the kind of drop that I would be expecting. Not like Neymar going to 100,000 coins, but maybe like 120,000 coins, a slight 10, not even 10. That would be like a 5 to 7% drop on a card like Neymar. That's what I would be expecting today across a lot of the market. A lot of the market prices, as we'll talk about, are still pretty steady. There hasn't been a ton of panic um, on a lot of these cards. Some of them are down. We were expecting prices to drop, and I guess as of right now, there's just not a really big catalyst to make prices drop that much. Grealish is down, what, 7K? You know, just down a little bit. 
Karchawi's down just a little bit. Govu, Cole down just a smidge. I was looking at Centurion's cards. You know, Gioro's down. But, like, Mendy's still over a mil. Tomori's down a little bit. Rooney hasn't moved much. A lot of the market doesn't look like it's being panic sold at the moment. Some cards are dropping, as expected. But I think I was expecting a little bit bigger drops yesterday. And maybe today will be the catalyst that kind of helps. I mean, people panic sell, I guess, is what we're kind of looking for. But maybe we won't have too much panic selling until more towards the middle to end of this week um, after the SBC today. If there's not a lot of hype for the upcoming Thunderstruck and Black Friday promo and all that jazz coming on later this week. So maybe the panic selling is going to be pushed off until later, but I do think there will be some price drops today with the SBC. And we got to talk about these FC Pro Live cards as well, because there's some investments on these cards that we might be able to make as soon as today in this price drop off. Of course, I want to I want to show you guys something and in investing with these cards. Uh, if you take a look on the main screen of Ultimate Team, it'll show a little image here. I don't know where it's at. I, I was having trouble finding it earlier. Here it is. So the way that these matches work, we're only going to want to invest in Group A right away because those are going to be the cards and the, the Group A pros that play their matches first. So that means their cards get the first potential to upgrade, right? That first upgrade point is at three points. So one win in this group. So Jean Ro, who's going to be coming out today in the menu of these, Mane, Malin, Lodi the SBC, and Colo Mani are the only cars that could potentially get upgraded after the first weekend of games. If you kind of notice here, group A plays first, then B, then C, then D. They kind of, they go like that. It's kind of like a snake draft order, right? They go A, B, C, D, then they snake it back to the beginning and go A, B, C, D once again with these games. And that's kind of how it works. So the first weekend will be those five cards potentially getting upgraded. Then in December, it'll be those five, right? And you move from group to group to group. So the best investments technically might be Kolomani, Mane, Malin, and Genro on the market sometime in the next couple of days because those are the cards that would play first and have the earliest and, I mean, first chance at an upgrade. So that's how I'm kind of looking at these cards and thinking about investing. I mean, of course, you've got Black Friday coming this week as well, so it's not something that I would go crazy on, but that's just something to keep an eye on as well. Remember the triple threat cards? They rose up a lot last week from where they were on Sunday. Um, I'm not saying with Black Friday this week that the same thing's going to happen. All I'm saying is these cards are very cheap in FC Pro Live. They're live. They're upgrading. Live cards almost always rise out of packs, so some of them could be going up later on this week, and today could be a decent buy time for those. We'll reconvene and talk about that on tomorrow's video as we head into Monday to see how much they've dropped and if they still look like a good investment. Now, like we mentioned, the rest of the market, not a whole lot of panic just yet. Um, I do expect to see more panic for sure, but maybe it will be later on during the week as uh, I think, you know, a loading screen or more packs being added to the code would definitely create a lot more panic on the market and make people start thinking about, oh my goodness, what is to come with Black Friday and all of that. But at least right now, it's not going too crazy just yet, but we'll see if the Icon SBC changes that today. Now, other Sunday content, will we get another Evo? I mean, think about it, guys. We still have to get that FC Pro Live Evo that seems to be purely cosmetic, that gives us the red pick colored cards to emulate red picks. I don't know how that's going to work. I hope it, you actually get an upgrade on the card, even if it's just a simple plus one or plus two. If it's just a, hey, or put this card in and it turns red after playing a couple of games, like... Like what? Like, you know what I'm saying? So that could be something that comes out today. Um, we'll see. Back-to-back -to -back days of Evos. I don't know if that's happened so far this year at all, but it could. You know, they've dropped Evos on Sundays before. Also, the mini release, as we just looked at some of those player items uh, on the home screen, Genro, Vanden Boomen, and I believe um, the Swedish center back that is from the Serie A. What's his name again? Hein. It's behind my face cam right now, but it's Hein Vanden Boomen and Jean Rowe today that I believe are going to be in the mini release. Everybody else has been accounted for. Everybody else either has an SBC, an objective, uh, or is a card that is in packs. So mini release today will add a couple more cards to packs. And then potentially another player SBC as well. Um, Sundays, you know, Friday, Saturday, Sunday usually means player SBC, player SBC, player SBC. So watch out for maybe a leak today as well. I don't know if there's any other leaks that we have at the moment for player SBCs. Um, I think all the ones that have dropped that have been leaked, have been dropped. So that's kind of what I'm thinking for content today. It's really the icon pack that is the big piece today that we are watching. I picked up a Mane. Um, speaking of these pro live cards, I picked up a Mane at 506 as he was dropping so much. 
and it looks like he's back up a little bit right now. You know, I don't know if I'm going to invest in any of these cards today after squad battle rewards. I know a lot of people have been playing squad battles, which would potentially mean that there would be people wanting to go out on the market today and buy buying some of these cards. Um, I mean, they had crazy rises yesterday. They could have some rises today as well. But with the icon pack coming, I'm going to be a little bit more careful with these today um, and probably just pass on trading or investing with any of those. But if you want to go for it, man, people do seem to like these pro cards because they do move. And the fact that Tolvan was 100K and is now 73K, like who wouldn't want to wake up today, play some champs and try that card out? So watch for market movements there. And uh, yeah, last day of the weekend before we get into a very, very interesting week with a lot of Black Friday discussion to be had. But it's going to be an interesting day on content today with the Icon SBC and whatever else we may get. I should be live streaming. That link is down below in the description. If you want to see us open the Icon packs today, play some Foot Champs Weekend League and watch the market and how it all moves today. If you're excited for that today, drop a thumbs up on the video if you did enjoy it as well. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. I will see you guys in the stream today. It's been Nathan Foot Accountant. Have a good one. Peace.